My father was always very much anti the regime. He was not in any kind of resistance group. Uh, I think it had to do, you know, partially because we did live in a insignificant kind of a place. But uh, he would always, every evening, nine o'clock, I remember him, you know, tuning uh, for the the Voice of America. And um, one thing also, I think a lot of parents did it, but they wouldn't tell the kids. Um, I remember since I was very little, and, and it's something that I now do value a lot, is that you know whenever he was listening to Voice of America, they, he never sent me away from the room. They basically from, I don't know, I remember being six, seven years old, uh, being told that what they do is not allowed. If I say that they do it, if, you know, if I say that my dad's, my dad listens to this radio station or that he reads the, the, the newspapers he reads, that uh, they will get in trouble and I don't want my parents to get in trouble because I might end up in an orphanage if they would go to jail or something like that. But uh, I would always, I don't know, they, 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 they train me in, uh, you know, what was the official version and then what was the, the truth, I guess. And so I think that from very early on, I did uh, learn to read between lines, and I did learn, um, or I learned not to trust any kind of government, not to trust any kind of institution, always question.